following now. Piled up snow and ice were just too much for an airport canopy to take out at the Indianapolis International Airport. For the second time in three years, the canopy covering an airport parking garage gave way, sending piles of snow plummeting to the ground floor. RTB6 reporter Chance Walser joins us live at the airport now with what happened. Chance. Well, they're not happy. The repairs they made after that first incident in 2011 cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now they're thinking about scrapping this design altogether. Let's start with the good news, which is no one was hurt and no property was damaged when snow ripped through this canopy this morning, ending up on the ground floor. You don't want to have any uh, uh, incident like this to result in anybody being injured or property damaged. No one was hurt in the 2011 collapse either, but snow did land on escalators and several rental cars causing damage. Instead of replacing the entire canopy back then, crews replaced only the damaged section. This latest tear happened right at the seam of where the old and new fabrics meet. Are you surprised that it happened? Again? Yes. Yes, I'm surprised it happened because the first repair was $650,000, so we're going to have to look at other alternatives of whether or not uh, to discontinue use of fabric. That's just one of many options airport officials say they're looking at. And as passengers are once again forced around the caution tape, those we spoke with say reevaluating the design seems like a good idea. I'm an engineer. I would say that uh, they probably should have thought the design through with uh, you know, the weight of the snow and that a little better. They should reconsider what they're going to do as they put this thing back together. Although parts of the garage remained uh, roped off at different parts throughout the day, most of the garage is open now, fully functioning to passengers. Live at the airport, Chance Walser, RTV6. Uh, what a mess. Chance, thank you. More